eight years ago when we came up with the idea of focusing on adolescent girls, we didn't even call it the girl effect. It was just this new idea that if you could get to an adolescent girl before she became a woman in that critical 9 to 19 age range, that you could have this huge effect on the world. Now, I remember seeing the film for the first time. And it's interesting because I'm afraid that like many people who, who work on development and think about development, um, I was slightly ignorant of the adolescent girl. It seems that the development agenda is very often focused, first of all, on men and, and on very young children. And if it includes women, it's, it's often, again, either you know, under five-year-olds or it is, it's much older women. And I think the, the girl child has so much more visibility now than it had, I mean, definitely eight years ago, but even a few years ago. At the same time, I think we're only, we're only at the beginning. Because it's great, it's great to reach 100 girls, but you know what? We need to reach hundreds of thousands, if not hundreds of millions of girls. And, and so we still have a bit of an agenda ahead of us. Yeah, there's 250 million adolescent girls in poverty. So if we're going to make that number, we have a long way to go. But it is exciting to have all the attention that this issue has had. But it's also dangerous because the attention can create the impression that massive resources are starting to flow to the issues of mm -hmm. girls. And I think we need to be very sober about the fact that it hasn't happened yet. Well, I think what's important to acknowledge is that the groups and the individuals who, are, who care about, about the girl effect all come at it for slightly different reasons. For example, the elders came to this issue because they cared about girls and women and the role that religion and tradition play. And I think the partnership with the elders mm -hmm. has been a perfect example. There's no way that there could have been progress on the planet on, on child marriage in the way it has happened if it hadn't been for what the elders have done. Absolutely no chance. I, I know it completely. One of the concerns is that if you say you're focusing on girls, people say, well, what about boys or what about other populations? And I think that the thing that's so compelling about a girl is it affects everything, whether you care about water and climate, whether you care mm. about agriculture, whether you care about health. Whatever the issue is that you care about, a girl has an impact on all those things. And I think also as, as the world starts thinking about the, the future development agenda, because you know these famous Millennium Development Goals that started in 2000 and, and should be achieved by 2015, but I think as the world starts talking about what's next, I think the girl child, and especially adolescent girls, have to be much more prominently represented in that future development agenda. Right now we have all those small projects, we mm -hmm. need to make them big, huge, so that they go at scale in countries. You can't get to 250 million adolescent girls if a small population of us mm -hmm. are trying valiantly to make that happen. The only way we can do it is when we work really in deep partnership. Let's get a common agenda for adolescent girls. Mm -hmm.